Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which it's another week, it's another charity shop haul. Um, I'm wearing a different jumper to last time, so you know, we're going up in the world. <laughs> and this week's haul is probably, to me, one of my all-time favourites because I had an absolutely spectacular experience in the one pound charity shop in my local town yesterday which i will show you um but i do also have some bits from the ymca in harrogate that i always go to um in their 50p sale so um i'm going to resist the temptation to rip everything out of this bag and show you and i'm going to start with the ymca stuff so firstly um is a men's size xl polo top in this reddish burgundy color it is um barber and it's their collaboration with steve mcqueen and looking at comps they go for between 15 and 20. next up is a skirt that i had my eye on um, before it went into the 50p section because i just loved the colors of it and it's a very summery, lightweight cotton skirt, um, unlined with a side zip and a split at the front, I'm going to guess. Um, just really like the colours of it, thought it was a really nice summery piece for 50 pence. And that is um, a size 14. So pretty standard size. And next is another skirt. This time it's a Jack Vert and it's a UK 18, kind of mother of the bride. And it actually goes with a top you've already seen, which I've got here, which is also an 18. Also a Jack Vert, I think they've been donated together, which would make a mother of the bride set if you've got a jacket. And so I'm going to potentially list these together. Not sure how much for yet. Um... But yeah, for 50p, Jack Furt, and it's lined with a really nice silky lining, very floaty. <clears throat> then there's a pair of fat face jeans. They are a size 18 in this burgundy purple colour. Um, I listed a pair of fat face jeans this week. They sold within two hours and sold for £17 and I paid 50p for them. Similar um, to these, but they were black. So hopefully they will do well for me as well. And then there's footwear. I have not really picked up any footwear in a good while, um, but they had quite a lot on 50p. So first of all, I don't think these are as good as I thought they were going to be. They are a pair of um, Marks & Spencer foot glove, size 7, little court heels, um, real leather, and obviously they're a wide fit with them being the foot glove range. Um, I was looking at comps and foot glove, I think the market's dropped from what I thought it was. So I um, need to do some more research on that, but um, yeah, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 on them. Um, next up are two pairs of children's vans. One are a high top and one are the standard old schools. These are a size two and a half and these are, don't have a size on them. They need a little bit of a clean up, but they're in decent neck. Oh, uh, they're a third, uh, wait, that's US, UK 12. So that is smaller children's, also these are bigger children's. Um, yeah, they need a bit of a clean up, but they're in decent nick, and so could maybe get 10 to 12 for each pair. Um, then there was a pair of um, Nike football boots. These are the Tiempo range. No idea what the value is on these, but for them being Nike, yes, they've got a bit of mud on them, but they are actually in really good condition. The studs aren't gnarled. Um, they look like they've had quite little usage because the tarmac does wear them down. Um, and at 50 pence, they're a size eight and a half, so pretty standard UK size. Um, hopefully there'll be some money in them. And finally is a pair of Lacoste grey leather pumps. Um, these are a size seven, again, 50 pence. 
and not sure what they're worth but once again with a bit of a clean up around the edge they should look in pretty good condition so I'm going to take half an hour out of my day at some point to just clean all them up and let them dry out. So that is everything from the 50p section of the YMCA and now I'm going to show you what I got in in my local charity shops. So firstly, um, I'm going to leave the one pound shop till last. Firstly, from Cancer Research, I got two pieces of Cornish ware. Um, there is a milk jug for a pound and a bud vase for 150. They're in perfect condition, no chips at all. Um, you can see that they are the Canuck, Cornwall, England. Um, pretty standard stuff. No idea on price, need to have a look. Maybe 10 to 15 pounds each. I really don't know, but that seems to be the go to of a lot of pottery at the moment. Um, judging by the resellers because pottery is not really something I have much experience in at all but you know it's good to learn um, now this is giving you a teaser because this is all of the time stuff but I need to get it out of the way so that I can show you the other stuff first okay so in the local hospice shop I picked up this shirt it's a men's medium shirt and I got it because it's from Disneyland Paris and it their stuff's always in half price so they had it out at four pounds but that meant that I paid two pounds and then on the pocket there is the little Mickey Mouse embroidered and I just thought that was really cute no idea what um, it's worth I haven't researched it but I thought at two pounds it was worth picking up it's also got a little Disneyland tag on the side of it there that I've just noticed And then from the RSPCA shop, um, I found a new reseller on YouTube in the last couple of weeks. And I'm really sorry I've forgotten her name, but I will link her channel below. She's quite new, she's done really well. She's already um, close to 500 subscribers and she'll only be going a few weeks. But her videos are really good because they're sort of quick, snappy videos. Um, and she picks her main deal is picking up tech and games and flipping them over for really quick returns which is something that um really got me thinking because I, I felt that I need stuff on my eBay that's going to sell quickly to help produce some more sales from the stuff that's stuck and so I thought maybe some games would help that so these were all either £1 or £1.50 each from um, the RSPCA and they're all Nintendo Wii games so the first one is Disney Infinity, that was a pound, or Disney Infinity 2.0, and it's got its booklet and the disc in there, um, and the disc's in good condition. I didn't check them all because it couldn't be bothered. Uh, next up is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008 for a pound. And they also had the 2007 one, so perhaps I could list them together. They were both a pound. And let's see. Booklet. Disc isn't... Mm, no, it's not scratched. And the other one. Again, booklet and disc in yeah, good condition. Then we have something I've never heard of, which is Lynx Crossbow Training. Um, that sounded quite fun. And again, booklet and this. And then I had this game myself when I had a Wii, and it's the Carnival Games. I think, I do believe, back in like 2007 when they were really popular, this is one of the games that you could get in the bundle when you bought the Wii originally, because I'm pretty sure we got it with ours. And they had this out at £1.50. And again, it's got both the booklet and the disc in there. And finally, we Fit Plus. So this um, is to go with if you've got the balance board. And again, booklet and disc. So, no idea on resales. Having watched, oh, I'm really sorry I can't remember her name, um, her channel, a lot of them are sort of only sort of five or six pounds some of them eight or nine pounds and then you get a couple that are like 20 quid 
So I need to do my research on them from like just having had a Wii myself. I'm pretty sure they're all quite generic games. Although this one, sorry, this is for Wii U, not Nintendo, not the normal Wii. And with it being Disney Infinity 2.0, which looks like the better one judging by that chart, is leading me to believe that that might actually be worth some half decent money. Um, I will let you know. I am. I have decided that I am going to set up a separate Instagram account for my reselling stuff. Um, and see how that goes. Um, so yes, right, now onto the bit that I'm buzzing to show you is the one pound Martin House clothes that I picked up yesterday. And I'm just gonna get cracked on because there's 18 items here. So firstly, we have a really nice black dress with Peter Pan collar and lace detail. And it's by Roman, um, I believe that it is a size 14, correct? Yep, size 14. And the uh, main body of the dress is in this really lovely scuba detail, uh, scuba material, three quarter sleeves, um, just a really nice classy dress. Um, I need to think of some good keywords to list that with to get the views on that. Next is this jumper. This is Pure Collection, 100% cashmere, button detail on the shoulder, UK 16, navy, one British pound. I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. That's like easily 25 quid right there. Next is a pair of wool blend trousers. These are Monsoon. They are a UK 12 really nice condition, wide legged, um, lined inside of a really nice satin lining, um, look pretty modern given by the monsoon tag, um, really nice trousers, I did have a look but they didn't have like a jacket or something that went with them because I thought that could have made a really nice um, suit for a woman. Next up is a piece of mint velvet, and it's this lightweight knit grey marl jumper with um, these beads all in the front of it. It does have a stain there that you can see hopefully and I'm just going to try and soak that out. Now they've cut the size label out for whatever reason but hopefully it'll still be in the materials label at the bottom. <laughs> Which has also been cut out. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to have to do some measuring on that one and just give it a rough size but that to me looks like it probably would have been a large or an XL given mint velvet's usual go-to sizing. Next up is a piece of phase 8, this is a size 14 and um, it's a bat wing lightweight knit top, not quite a jumper really, it's not thick enough to be a jumper and it is viscose, wool and nylon, 24% wool, so I, that's a decent wool blend at least. Um, but yeah, it does feel like nice condition to be fair. And really nice for spring when it's still a bit nippy outside, but you want something that's got some warmth to it. Next up is more of a summery piece, again phase 8, and this reminded me of the sort of typical blue china wear, the pattern on it, really pretty pattern. They've cut the size label out of it, um, which is really annoying. Why have you done that? And it doesn't actually say, oh wait, UK 16, thank the Lord, because I can't be asked measuring it all, but it was still too good to pass up for a quid. Yeah, UK 16, 100% cotton. So nice material again, um, lightweight summery top. And this is what I wanted. I wanted some really nice summer pieces to go on my store as we move through into spring. However, um, and my second favorite piece, this is gorgeous. It is a Jaeger size large, 100% cashmere jumper with this block print on navy, gray and cream. I just love it. It is a women's jumper and then uh, the stripes are in slightly different positions on the back. Um, let me just, let me just prove it to you because I just couldn't believe it. Jaeger 100% cashmere. It's beautiful and it's in such good condition. 
for one pound i know i'm repeating myself but i was just i was with my mates and they were like my god because my arm was getting fuller and fuller and fuller and i was like i've never seen it this good it has never been that good now it's the one pound store because it's the clearance store it gets all the stuff that no one else wants to sell I'm like how how has this made it down to the one pound clearance store because it's all such good stuff no idea um next is another piece of phase eight feels like cotton again it's got a couple of marks on the back i can see so that's going to go for a spin through the washing machine but it's sort of nautical themed um, mediterranean top um okay it's not cotton it's viscose and linen so well linen is cotton isn't it and it's only 15 percent linen so that'll have to go down as a linen blend again uk 16 um I'm wondering if some of this stuff was from the same donor because there was a lot of uh, mint velvet in the same size and phase eight in the same size. Next up, another pure collection, 100% cashmere, but this time UK 14 jumper. Really nice sort of um, relaxed fit jumper, slightly bat winged, but not, hmm, yeah, it is bat winged. In this really gorgeous dusty pink color. Now I know it's the wrong season for cashmere, but I just never seem to be able to find any through the winter. And all of a sudden now I'm coming across it. And I'm not bothered because even if it sticks around, that is going to make decent money at some point. Next up is another mint velvet top. This is a size large. It's a really thin knit. You can sort of, you can, should be able to see my hand through that. And um, grey, uh, not grey, navy and white stripe, long sleeved with um, side splits. It's got the sort of drop down hem at the back that's a bit longer. And have they put the materials out of this as well? No, they haven't. 100% um, linen, so that's great, because quite often with mint velvet, I've said this before, the materials are crap. Um, so it is good to see that, oh, it has got damage though, I've just noticed. I'm gonna have to declare that that's annoying on the front there. This is the thing, I have to admit, I did get a bit um, happy clappy with it and just slung it over my arm without fully checking everything over. Um, next up is a brand that I, I think I've heard of, it sounds familiar, it's Rap London and it is this beige linen top, um, sort of three quarter or half length sleeves with um, the little roll ups on them, um, a nice loose fitting top and yeah 100% linen and it is a UK 16 so a nice size then there is um, a piece of white label by the white company <laughs> brand new with tags it was 35 pounds originally a uh, navy top 100% cotton with the sort of tie front, one pound, amazing. Probably go somewhere between 20 and 25 on that. Just a simple navy top, but really nice quality because it's a white company. Then there was a pair of next 100% linen grey trousers. These are a UK 14 regular length trouser, RRP 30. They've gone down to 14 quid in the next sale, and obviously I got them for one pound. But the good thing is that it's got a perforated tag, so I can remove any sign of a price on these, because that can actually stop you achieving a better price if people know how much they were originally, because they're thinking, oh, well, I'm not actually getting that much of a bargain. Um, not sure how much they're worth, though, need to look at comps. Then we have another piece of phase eight. It is a white linen tank top um a decently thick material it's a double layer with a scalloped hem around the bottom so that's some nice added detailing it's not double layer sorry it's lined um and 100 percent linen and it is a uk 16 i'm gonna guess uh come on this one doesn't bloody say Okay, I'm just going to have to measure it and see what size I come up with <laughs> and put the measurements in the details in the description box, sorry. Um, so that's a bit of a piss take, but oh well, it was £1 and it's linen. Now, I'm going to save that for last because that's my favourite piece. 
Uh, another piece of mint velvet, size XL, grey, um, thin neck jumper with beading all the way down the sleeves. Again, a bit of a bat wing really. And I'm not sure what the materials are on this. Wouldn't surprise me if they're plastic. Yeah, viscose, nylon and elastane, typical mint velvet, but it's quite a nice jumper, a bit of a cowl neck going on there, um, and thin enough for spring, so get that on soon. Um, next is a bit of sort of bread and butter, khaki trousers from Jigsaw, UK 12. Um, everyone likes a khaki trouser, don't they? Pretty generic. Then we'll have our final piece of knitwear. It's by a brand I've never heard of called Muted Tones and their size is one. <laughs> so I need to have a look at their website and see how their sizing works. It's sort of a half or three quarter sleeve to it with this really nice um, charcoal gray and acid green tone. And the materials on this are 35% viscose, 29% lamb's wool, 20% nylon, 8% angora, and 8% cashmere. So a real wool blend there, lots of different wools with some um, viscose and nylon. It does feel nice. It um, feels a bit sort of not rough. It's not the soft, soft cashmere that you'd, know, you'd get, because obviously it's only got 8% cashmere in it, but you can tell that it's well made and it's not bobbled. This is the thing. Usually all the cashmere I find, mainly in Harrogate, is bobbled to hell and they're still charging eight to ten pounds for it so i've just always left it but this is in such good condition for one pound like the guy behind the till was amazed at how much i bought but i was amazed at how they just don't care about the prices like i mean i know it's their thing that it's a one pound shop but if i was going i can't physically sell this for a quid so finally my favourite piece is a shirt. Now see if you can spot why it's my favourite piece. If I just hold that open. Liberty. A men's Liberty shirt. Liberty of London. One British pound. Really nice blue and white pattern to it really good quality unfortunately it doesn't have a size in it so i'm gonna to have to go by chest measurements which isn't the end of the world it's much easier in men's clothing i find than women's beautiful soft cotton god knows how much it cost originally and god knows how much it's worth because i have not looked at comps on it yet might even keep it for myself, although it does look too big for me. So I spent £18 in there, although, um, well, I should have spent £18 in there. I made the guy round up to 20 which he was so grateful for, and I was there thinking, mate, it felt like daylight robbery, and I was with my friends and I did say to them, and I am going to stick true to this, that, um, I'm going to keep track of how much money I make on this stuff and a percentage of the profits will be donated back to that charity because it does feel wrong to have got such quality stuff from them that will hopefully sell for really good money and not give them a percentage of that back. The 50p stuff is slightly different because I've bought quite a fair bit of full price stuff from that YMCA and a lot of the 50p stuff is 50p for a reason because it's been sat around for ages. There are a few really nice pieces that I picked up, like the Russell and Bromley loafers and Jack Furt should do half decent. But it's not quite the same as selling everything you have for a pound and all that cashmere, all the phase eight, all the mint velvet. I couldn't believe it. And I know that the market is saturated at the moment, so I need to have a look at promoted listings because I started started using a few of them. Someone commented on my um, one of my previous videos um asking me if i use promoted listings and i have them on my the sort of expensive items i've promoted um the stuff i got from dk max i promoted put it that way um but yes um 
eBay is still shockingly slow at the moment, but I'll talk about that in my February update that you might have actually seen by the time this video comes out, depending on my schedule. Anyway, thank you for watching. I am a very happy boy and I'm going to get cracked on and get some of this stuff listed because I am swimming in stock. Absolutely swimming. Um, have a lovely week. Enjoy the weather if it's still as nice as it is on this day that I am filming. It is beautiful, glorious sunshine outside. And um, feel free to stick around and subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again soon with another upload.